an angle is formed between two lines at the point where they intersect a line can separate a plane into two distinct regions and let us now see how an angle is identified and the meaning of region in relations to angles in big cities we see roads flyovers created in various directions in many places we see a road and railway track crossing each other when two roads or a railway track and road intersect we say that a junction is formed and the junction is common for both in case of roads to avoid accidents at the intersection of roads or at junctions we have signals if we represent the railway track and the road with lines then instead of a junction area we will have a point of intersection which will be common to both the lines we draw a line on a plane which can be a paper or a board or on the floor of the classroom we can extend the line till it meets the edge of the paper or the end of the board we can see two separate regions on either side of the line if we have another line that intersects the first line then this line also divides the plane into two parts the two lines together create four distinct regions on the plane and each region is present between the two lines as shown the four regions do not overlap and have no region in common since the lines can be extended infinitely the regions also extend infinitely at the point of intersection the rotation needed to take the line or point from one to another is measured in terms of angles in between two lines at the vertex we can measure the angle between two intersecting lines we can have four angles between the lines as shown the point where the angle is formed is called the vertex of the angle a vertex is a point and can be named using the capital letter of the english alphabet say a along the line we can show a ray starting from a to denote a ray we need a point on the ray and if the point is b then we have a ray ab and this ray forms one arm or side of the angle along the second line we can show a ray starting from a and to denote this ray we need a point on the ray if the point on the ray is c then we have a ray ac and this ray forms the second arm of the angle between the two rays we have the angle cab or bac the middle letter in the name of the angles is the vertex of the angle the angle outside of these rays is called the reflex angle bac or reflex cab the order of this side is not very critical when we are naming the angles but the vertex must be the middle letter in the name of the angle so in general we can say that if we rotate the ray ab about point a by an angle cab we can get the ray ab to overlap on ray ac thank you